Well, if you look at the mobile marketplace today, there's a variety of different operating systems and devices and form factors, and it's quite a diverse space. So getting content and applications to actually work well uh, is a big challenge today on mobile. And so as a user, you can't you know, easily access the content you want to. Uh, installing an application is very hard, if at all possible, on, on these devices. And our aim is really to enable uh, revolution in that experience on devices where you can get at the content and the applications you want. Uh, you can install applications across devices, across operating systems, uh, very much like you can access web content today on personal computers and install web applications on, on things like Air. Uh, we want to bring that same kind of experience to the mobile world. Yeah, making this happen is not something just one company can do on their own. So we're actually working with uh, all the major carriers and mobile device manufacturers and, and even uh, you know, hardware uh, providers and side devices to really make this possible. So we've got something called the Open Screen Project where a bunch of us in the industry are cooperating to make this happen and make this experience for end users uh, jump up to the next level and actually be something that's uh, you know, where you can widely access content and applications and do that in a reliable way. So we're working with folks like uh, Nokia, for instance, uh, Entity Docomo, Verizon, uh, Motorola, and uh, Samsung, and a bunch of other uh, great partners to make this actually happen for end users around the world. Well, in Japan, uh, we worked early on with NTT Docomo, and Flash became part of the iMode standard in Japan. And with Docomo's reach in Japan, it enabled Flash to reach just about um, you know, the majority of the population in Japan. And so that's uh, been a revolution for content in Japan. And if you look at the ecosystem there, uh, using iMode and Flash, the experience is terrific. Uh, the content is really engaging. Uh, it's a very vibrant ecosystem and marketplace for that content, where people creating uh, experiences actually are getting paid for those, uh, all through the billing system uh, that Docomo has with end users. And so it's a vibrant marketplace and you know over a billion dollars uh, uh, market right now for Flash content in Japan. Uh, that revolution has not yet kind of taken the world by storm beyond Japan, uh, largely due to the uh, fragmentation of different devices and standards and, and operating systems around the world. So we're really focused on enabling Flash to get on uh, the world's devices now to bring that same kind of experience around the world. We're making good progress, actually. The, uh, the, the goal for getting Flash player and devices was to reach a billion devices by 2010. And we're actually ahead of schedule on that right now. Uh, we're over 800 million already. And by 2009, we expect to reach a billion devices that are Flash enabled. So we're, we're well on the, on the way. Now, there's over a billion phones, so we've got more work to do. And the ability to actually keep that technology up to date is going to be a real key part of bringing consistency across devices so that as we keep innovating with Flash that everyone who has Flash on their device can actually update and get the newest version of Flash. And that's something that's difficult on devices today, uh, but that's one of the things we're working to solve uh, with all the partners in the Open Screen Project.